right, we're getting this thing started. It's been like a hot minute since I've done one of these. So got got to get back in the hang of it. Let me find my phone. So I don't have any interruptions. Oh well. Fuck it. All right. Give me just one brief moment. We'll get started. We'll do sound checks and all that good stuff. Just to make sure that everything is coming through fine. So bear with me just a moment. If you're joining the stream, let me know if you're hearing the uh, everything okay. Yeah, gotta love Austria. Yeah, overpriced infantry, that's terrible. Well we're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it as uh, the good old Austrians without taking over anything, just surviving. We might give up some of our some of our regions. We're gonna do some crazy, some crazy things here. Minecraft, how you doing, man? It's good to see you back. How you been doing? Um, all right. So I'm taking it that the sound is coming through good and loud and clear. All right. So we got Luke Star. We got Bobby. We got King. All right. So, yeah, not Prussia. All right. I've actually done Prussia. So let me just get things switched over. I'm going to I'm going to cut off the camera now so we can have the full screen experience. It's going to be oh so sweet. So let me cut the camera. We're going to switch over to Empire. Bear with me uno momento as we get things cranking here. All right. So I hope you guys are all doing good. This is going to be a pretty fun campaign. I'm going to kind of show you what you're in store for. I know you're seeing a black screen because Empire's coming up, but it is on the way, I promise you. All right. So, oops. I kind of been messing around with this campaign, and I think I got a pretty good idea how to get Austria to 1750 without taking over an extra region at all now I've done this as Prussia so I'm gonna take you to that so I've got Prussia all the way to 1750 without taking over one single region and I also did it as Great Britain so here is 1750 as Prussia I'm just showing you this to show you what you're in store for so as you can see at this point, at 1750, I've accumulated 88,000, um, and I, it's because I haven't been necessarily battle-free playing as Prussia, uh, but you can see I've built up the wealth quite nicely in Prussia, and I've also done it, and boy, did I ever do it with uh, Great Britain. I just actually got it there. Hey, Heinz, how you doing, man? So, Heinz is one of our good friends that plays a lot of multiplayer with us. All right, so here's Great Britain. And you can see I've got them to 1750 without taking over a single region. As a matter of fact, I gave up all. All that I have is this right here. And you can see how much money I've got in the bank. So, at this point, now after 1750, I can start taking over regions so we're going to do that as Austria. So just to give you a, kind of an idea of what we're going for, it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be kind of difficult to do as Austria. So let's go and get the party started, if you will. Great. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. And uh, I can't believe we didn't get any multiplayer today. But it is what it is. 
All right. So single player, we're going to be doing a grand campaign as Austria. We're doing it very hard, very hard. We're going to do this as world domination. So we're going to start this bad boy off. Once again, we are not going to take over one single solitary region. We're going to try and do this just by surviving all the way to 1750 before we can do anything. So we don't need her advice. We're going to go ahead and get the the uh, research started not on plug bayonet but on empiricism and that's going to be important for us to do and we're not going to need the church because obviously we're 100 percent catholic so we're going to get rid of that we don't care about religion in austria we're going to go ahead and start building up our our facilities if you will just to get austria on its way up and running in the world and then we're going to get cranking now obviously austria has some pretty crappy troops to start the game off with so we're going to have to deal with that and it's not going to be necessarily easy we're going to have the ottomans we're going to have to deal with uh, a lot of things so what we're going to do here i've got to secure some friends to make this possible and to do this, I'm going to have to shrink down this empire as well. Because obviously my empire is quite large. And I'm not going to be able to do this um, playing as Austria all over the place. Because we, we're just going to have too much going on. Too much. Way too much going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the ball of rolling by giving up some regions. And we're going to do so. Uh, actually, we're going to start off by giving the Ottomans one. We're going to try to anyways. And I'm going to try and get all their tech out of them. And I think, I can't remember what they start out with, to be honest with you. They might be 8,000, might be 6,000. But we're going to try and squeeze every little dime out of them for Transylvania and see what we can get all right they're not biting on that so they might not have eight thousand starting off with but definitely whoops definitely we want to get all their tech out of them and let's go with six thousand and see if they do that nope they are not all right so we can don't fret we're gonna get that deal done we're gonna take the 750 um, just because it's money that's freely given. Now, since the... I, I need money. That's the first thing. We, we got to start off with money. Uh, definitely not Luke Star says, if you lose territory on the way to 1750, do you allow yourself to reclaim it or just stick with what you have left? Um, you know, that's interesting. Maybe that is possible to reclaim it. I don't know. I, I think I if I shrink it or sell it, maybe we don't take it back. Uh, but we got other things we can possibly do. Do we keep it? Does it does it matter if we keep the region for a turn? Or can we give it away if we take it? You know, these are all questions I think that are uh, interesting. Hey, Field Marshal. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah. Um. So I think we need to establish these rules because if we if we do sell the region, should we be able to take it back? And I think I think we should let it go and just kind of take what we got and try to make it to 1750 with what we have. Now, if we have a region taken from us by force, I think we can take it back. I think that would be fine. But if we sell it or trade it, um, I think that we should not try to take it back. So that being said, we need to try to wheel and deal with Prussia because Prussia is going to be a problem for us. And if we can take some of their money away at the beginning of this, that would be fine and dandy with me. I can't again, remember what they start out with. I should know this as many years I've been playing. We want 
that as well. Um, so they probably don't have that much. So maybe 8,000, I think is what they start with. Because I know they start out with high tech and uh, a good college. So, okay, so they did it for 8,000. We got plug bayonet and that is a done deal. All right, so Silesia is gone. Uh, we got this army that we can move over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep Prague, Bohemia, um, Vienna, and Croatia. The rest of it I really don't care about. So that's kind of the thought. This army, let's go ahead and bring him over. And so that gives us 10,000. Let's go ahead and throw that into building up our economy. So we're going to definitely be at war with Austria pretty early on. And obviously we need to build up Austria itself the most because this is our home region. All of the money flows to Austria. So we need that one to be the strongest region. Now the other thing is in Croatia down the road, we need to plan for the future. Um, and we're going to have to build the military governor's encampment so that we can eventually get Grinzers because that's like a necessity playing as Austria is getting Grinzers and you have to get them in Croatia. So that's what we're going to do here. Now we're going to secure an alliance with Poland, Lithuania. We're going to give them Hungary because they are hungry for some territory. You like where I went with that? I, I kind of like it. All right. So we're going to see if we can get 8,000 out of them. I don't think they even got that much. I think they start with six. So maybe we wait till next turn. Um, see if we can get an alliance this turn and a trade agreement. And they bite on that. Let's get a trade agreement with Great Britain. Who's currently an ally. And Prussia, we are not because we will be at war with them pretty soon. All right. So the Ottomans, European, we're going to have to deal with you pretty soon. All right. So we've got 1750 left. We're going to go ahead and build the line infantry. Or actually, scratch that. Um, all right. We're going to build a cav here. So kind of in my brain which is a crazy brain um some of the things i want to do is i want to build up nice cav armies because we're going to have to be at war with the ottomans they're probably going to declare on me next turn which is fine um but one thing i want to do with them is actually let's see if we can trade one more time but one thing i want to do with the ottomans is run them down with cav they don't have calves starting out except for one deli calf and it's out of this area. So, okay. So we got it for 6,000, that deal done. So that's going to buy us a little bit of time against the um, stinking uh, adversaries that we have here, the Ottomans, those pains in the hiney. So we're going to fortify that. And that is that. We're going to get rid... Actually, the pikemen can go down here and live in the port to make sure that doesn't get wrecked. And I think that will do it for there. All right. So we got 7551 left to spend. We're going to spend it over here. Uh, we have already done everything. All right. We're going to get rid of this as well. We're going to build colleges. Colleges, colleges. So we can get our tech done. And I think we've got everything I need to do in this turn. Nope, we can build that. And we can build that. All right. Cool. So I, I want to give away Hungary to the Poles. Um, but that will be later. We'll, we'll get that deal done. So conquer Italy from Spain. Yeah, actually, we're not going to conquer anything until 1750. We're just going to try to make it. We're just going to try to make it until 1750. That's the goal here. If we can. It's going to be difficult as Austria with their crappy armies. All right, so uh, Poland-Lithuania already is 
wanting regions. So let's see if we can give them hungry. I'll be satisfied with seven. Okay, you can't do it yet. But trust me, in a couple turns, they'll be able to do it. I might be able to get 10,000 out of them in a couple turns. Let's hope anyway. The more money, the merrier, because we're going to need it. Because our economy is going to start becoming a shit show. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change our ministers. So that's not going to be helpful. But we'll, we'll get that sorted here in a second. All right, let's do that now. I, I was so excited I forgot about it. Because we got definitely some crappy ministers here. Um, so also in, in my brain, so you kind of know what I've got planned. Um, I am going to be looking to change my um, good old absolute monarchy over to a constitutional monarchy. So that means we got to go through two rebellions uh, to get there. So... It's not going to necessarily be the easiest thing. I don't want to give myself too good of ministers because I am going to want a rebellion. And yeah, so that's where we got that. All right, so we're going to build a college here. That should help piss people off. And we're going to build a college here. You guys squander on over there. Now we're going to need to build some more line infantry because obviously we're going to have to hold on against the Prussians before very long. Um, which means I need to secure up as many good alliances as possible. And I should have probably done this before I did the first intern. Um, yeah, we can do that. And I say that because um, we're not going to get alliance with them because most likely they are going to get declared on by Prussia this next turn. So the, the trade agreement with them is pretty much worthless probably anyway. But we're going for it. Okay, so right now our allies are quite a lot. And that's a good thing. Um, because we're going to be using allies out the yin gang here in a minute. All right, let's see if we can um, trade with Poland, Lithuania now for Hungary. Is Austria's army that bad in vanilla? Yes, they're pretty horrid. All right, let's see if we can get eight. Okay, they do it for eight. All right, so that got all of our armies out of there, which is good. And you guys come over here. All right, you fortify there. And you can go over there as well. And I think that is about all we can do this turn. Um, so we got 10,000 in the bank. We're going to... I believe what we're going to want to do next is obviously once we get the other two colleges up and running, we're going to have one working military. Two of them are going to be working our philosophy. I want to get philosophy done as fast as possible. And speaking of which, um, I don't really have to worry about uh, building new towns just yet. So I'm going to keep the tax level where it is. Um, at the given moment and we're gonna roll on so let's go ahead and end the turn and I'm sure the Ottomans will be declaring war here before long I'd be shocked if they didn't all right they want military access let's try to sweeten this up a little bit for us okay they do that all right so we got an extra thousand out of them. I'm not going to do a lot of that any uh, either, guys. I don't want to um, abuse getting too much money um, from doing uh, glitches and and uh, stuff like that in this campaign. I want to try to make it as kind of straightforward as possible. 
so the thing that's going to be difficult in this is getting our allies where we want them to be as I'm sure most of you that have played know that allies can be quite difficult to get them to participate in things you need them to participate in all right so our line infantry is done I'm going to need them on the front lines so they're getting moving over there all right and a couple other things I'm gonna need more cav again the cav is what we're gonna use to dominate the Ottomans with that is the the Achilles of the Ottomans in the early game because they lack calf support and we can put some serious wreckage on them. All right, so this is going to be a lot of clicking of interns, which is going to make time kind of roll fast, which is kind of good. So we can hopefully get to 1750 pretty quick. I expect to be at war with Spain as well in France. Um, I'm kind of shocked the Ottomans haven't declared war yet. I know it's coming. But we're gonna we're gonna see how how good we can make this economy. Thomas, how you doing, man? If you give everyone military access uh, trade as Austria, they won't attack you. Yeah, I, I don't wanna exploit too much in the game uh, yet because or I, I'm I don't wanna do it in this campaign. Because I want it to be kind of like a test of surviving. I want to kind of make it a little difficult. Um, just to try to see if we can make it with three regions here. So that's kind of what my thought press process is. And again, I'm, I'm building a military governor's encampment here. Um, for those of you who haven't heard, I, I want to be able to recruit Grinzers down the line. Uh, in the future so I have to build that in order to get Grinzers so that's the that's the thought process there alright so I think we'll have our colleges done next turn yep and then we'll be able to also build them up because empiricism will be done that turn as well so that's quite convenient so we'll have three colleges rocking and rolling or schools, two schools, or actually three schools being built to colleges. Okay, so the Ottomans are starting to mass troops over here in Croatia and Bosnia area on the border of Croatia and Bosnia. Jose, how you doing, man? Been a long time. It's great to finally be doing a stream again. I've been so busy on work that it has been quite difficult to do streams lately. So, it, streams or videos even. All right. Okay, we're gonna get this minister cranking over here. And we are gonna start him on that tech. Oops, you, actually, you on that. Because military tech, although it is important, it's not, as important as enlightenment tech because that's going to help us research faster and also it's going to get us to where we need our rebellions as well because every time we build up a philosophy we also get negative attributes uh, at least on the next level this level we don't but the next level we start getting negative one to happiness with every one we finish which is going to be a good thing for me. Um, as I said, I want to piss my people off so I can become a republic. And then we will switch over to a constitutional monarchy right after that. So that's kind of the plan. All right, let's build this up. At least keep... I want the... the Non-capital regions, I want them happy. All right, so we're down to 4,000. We're already blowing through our money, but we're right now losing three a turn on that. We're gaining one there and gaining three in Austria. So we, we need that to be boosted, and obviously one of the best ways to do that is 
finishing enlightenment tech. We get two per turn here and we get one per turn there. And as you go through enlightenment, you get a lot of improvements to your uh, per turn growth. So that's what we're looking for. All right. Obviously, we're losing a lot of income because of upkeep and we don't need the panders we're going to get rid of them and we're going to recruit more line infantry and as we get more line infantry we'll get rid of some of the other guys so we can keep our cost level at somewhat of a decent rate all right i think we're good on the cav here and we got a nice decent balance i guess i got military access to them and that's why they're not attacking I think that was part of the deal that we made for the trade, I guess. At any rate, um, let's end the turn and see what happens here. You know, one of the things that I found to be the most interesting as I was doing this with Britain and, and Prussia was watching the nations fight it out while you do nothing um, because I saw some pretty interesting things. In several of the campaigns, a lot of uh, the AI nations really got very aggressive, which surprised me. Like Russia, in one of the campaigns, had taken over um, pretty much almost everything the Ottomans had in Europe. Uh, or actually, they did. They took over everything the Ottomans had in Europe. And they even took over Finland from Sweden and Ingria, and then they ended up losing it all back. And part of that was because Maratha started coming on them at that point. But they had grown a pretty large empire and, and lost it. And uh, by the time 1750 came around, I think they had like one region left or two regions. So this is kind of some of the stuff we're going to be able to see in this, which will be pretty cool. Kind of looking forward to that, uh, to see what kind of happens here. And, and I will be not taking over regions but my hope here is to intervene in the war with against prussia helping my allies pull and lithuania out um, that way i can kind of manipulate what happens uh with the war and i i don't necessarily want prussia knocked out i want them kind of uh going back and forth uh, weakening each other as they go um just so they neither one of them get too too strong uh, but if one does, I'd prefer it to be Poland-Lithuania, obviously. All right. So, things are going along well. We got our tech growing. Um, we are going to just keep clicking interns. We're making 34 a turn right now. So, that's just going to build up our bank back up, which will be nice. And we'll start seeing more war happen here, I would expect. Poland, Lithuania, and Prussia to be at war with each other pretty soon. And actually, did it look like... I think, yeah, Poland, Lithuania took uh, Transylvania from the Ottomans already. So, that's pretty interesting. Like I said, uh, it's, it's impressive how aggressive the AI gets when you're kind of laying back. But a lot of these nations that start growing fast, they do start getting into trouble when they overextend. So we'll see if that happens to Poland, Lithuania in this go here. Um, Prussia is starting to build up now. Now, one thing to keep in mind is I did take 10,000 from them um, for Silesia. So they've had to build their economy back up to build more troops. So that's why they're not starting off going against Saxony. So once they once they do go after Saxony, that's going to be kind of a concern. One in which I, I almost kind of want to ally with Saxony, but then again, I don't. Because one of the things I have to keep in mind is Poland Lithuania a lot of times goes to war with Bavaria and uh, Wittenberg and... Hanover and I don't necessarily want to lose my allies in Bavaria and uh, Wittenberg and if I ally with Saxony that could jeopardize that because if Saxony stays around that could be problematic for me 
ATK, man. What's going on? We got ATK Productions in the house. Great to see you. And let's see here. All right, so we're at 9,800 uh, 9, now. We're three turns away from two of our enlightenment techs being done. Five from Socket Bayonet. And there's not really anything else I want to build, I don't believe. So we will click the intro and see what transpires here. Dixon, what we're doing is we're just going to 1750 without taking a region. We're, we're just trying to see if we can survive. I've given up some of my regions just to make it more intriguing. Just got off from work. That's nice. I like that. It's always good to be off from work. Work keeps us too much. Because I'm definitely feeling that pain lately. Alright. Sweden has taken Moscow. Those wily, crazy dudes. Let's see how long they keep Moscow in their grasp. All right, we got another gentleman. And I guess he's in Croatia. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's in Austria. Typical. Let's move him to this college. All right. And we are one turn away from our colleges being built. Which is nice. Let's check out our public order because that will be an issue soon. All right. So we can get this built up. That's important for us. Get this maxed out so we can get our bonus of tax income up to what we need it. And now. I am going to recruit some more line infantry because Austria is definitely going to start building. I mean, Austria. Prussia is going to start getting some men built up here pretty quick. And my crappy dudes are going to have their hands full against them. I need some cav too, frankly. So we're still making 37 a turn. Frederico, how you doing, man? I appreciate you joining the stream. All right, let's click the intern. Well, I mean, it's it's crazy. Already, Sweden taking Moscow. We got Poland, Lithuania taking Transylvania. From the Ottomans. Things are happening quickly. I know the Prussians aren't going to want to see all this expansion and them not be a part of it. So we're going to check to see who's at war with who here in just a moment. I am, I am still shocked. Quite shocked the Ottomans have not declared war on us. And I... Hey, how you doing? Lord Noza. How are you doing today? All right, so we got a couple of our... Oh, wait, wait. Aggressor, Poland-Lithuania versus France. We're going to have to join. I need Poland-Lithuania as an ally. So we are now at war with France. Our colleges are built. So that's going to expedite our research which is just fine with me we got one turn left and we'll have social contract which will also give us a boost in technology research and then we'll also have sock uh, ring bayonet not socket socket will be soon and yeah so that's kind of where we stand at the moment um I'm doing great. I'm doing great. 
Long day of work earlier, but I made it, survived through it, and here we are. Let's get the Ottomans out of our territory. Let's cancel their access. Let's go ahead and get ready for war with them. I don't want this Croatian army just sitting idle. Um... And yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to build. I do want to check our public order. Everything seems fine there. Again, um, we're, we are going to want to force a rebellion here very soon, but there's kind of a balance in doing it because once they destroy buildings, you sometimes your public order will go way back up and then you have to go three turns again. So I find it better if you build a lot of buildings up that cause public order problems and then you raise your taxes and kind of like hit all the population at once with a lot of things that piss them off in order to force that rebellion all right so we're only making 27 a turn right now um which is fine let's go ahead and end the turn and let's see if we go to war with the ottomans and if we do that's fine um, because I'm pretty sure I can wipe out um, all the Ottoman armies in Europe and make it easy for the Poles or the Russians to be able to take over the Ottoman territories. Now, it does concern me um, that the Swedes are starting to take over um, quite a bit of Russia. Um, I just don't want them to affect Poland-Lithuania. But, like I said, we can intervene in the war against the Prussians with the Poles. Oh, crap. You know what? I need to see if I can get alliance with uh, Venice. That's somebody I forgot to try to secure an alliance with. And the sooner the better. So we can get a few turns on my belt before people start declaring war on me. All right, we got that done, and Italian states are usually a package deal, but I can't get that done because they're allied with France. Uh, luckily, Venice, I got to them before they did ally with France. They are only allied with the Italian states at this given moment. All right, so we got a couple things done on research, which is nice. We got our ring bayonet done, and... We are going to start working on military syllabus. And we got seven turns and we'll have two more of the Enlightenment done. This one will give us a research boost. And this one will give us the ability to build the classical university, which will be very beneficial for us. And there we go. Um, all right. So this army here kind of makes me nervous because it is fairly small and the Prussians are going to there's no telling what they have here I need to get my spy up there where the hell is he where the hell is my spy list agent all the way down here what the hell are you doing down there I don't remember telling you to go up there I need to see what's in Prussia all right, we're convert the population here to piss off the the public in the Ottoman territories, and yeah, I did get infrastructure done. All right, so we got sixty nine hundred, which is good. All right, let's end the turn. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna be lots of intern guys. So I just hope you bear with me on this. But once we get to 1750, that's where the fun really happens. Because we will really have to take on some massive amounts of armies. It takes a lot of planning because you'll start seeing multiple stacks. Because uh, the AI will cheat when they see you're making money, they're going to make way more than you especially in the very hard very hard difficulty 
They really go bonkers. All right. So we got another gentleman, which is good. Let's go ahead and get him to Gantz. And that helps us with uh, getting that tech down to five. That saves us one turn. All right. And it looks like still the Swedes are controlling Moscow. Let's see if Prussia... Prussia still has not declared war on anyone. That is quite shocking. Quite shocking indeed. All right. Let's take a gander here if we can trade for some tech with somebody. So we can get maybe canister shot. We should get it out of the poles. All right, we got canister shot now. Um, I don't really want to trade too much with the with the um, Prussians, but. Flying shuttle would be good because that's the. Let's see if we can get it from. Him. All right, so they don't buy it. Russia. Square formation. Do I really need square formation? Common land enclosures. I can deal with that. Uh, square formation. I prefer, um, you want to give square formation. Damn it. That's not really what I want. Luke, how you doing? No, I'm, I'm not going to do the, the diplomacy cheese. I want to try to make this like as legit as possible. Uh, without being too cheesy. Uh, at least that's the attempt. Alright, let's, let's see if we can trade with Bavaria. They got carabiners, which would be ooh so nice. I want carabiners. Damn you, Bavaria. Go back to making your damn chocolate. Of course, they ain't got squat. Um, Westphalia, maybe. Land enclosures would be wonderful. 640, come on. I'll even give you 640. Okay, they did it. That's nice. That is very helpful. So let's build up our farms. So all the tech we can get, the better. Especially the earlier. Um, yeah, square formation might be a good idea. Um, especially because of the Prussians. You are quite right there. I think I did get it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I did get square formation. I've got canister. Uh, I really would like to get um, uh, carabines um, because that would be super helpful. Let's see if we can find somebody, anybody that has it. Maybe, I don't think Saxony has anything. Actually, let's get some money out of them. Okay, we got a thousand out of them. Venice, I don't think has any tech. Yeah, I know this might be boring, but as uh, we want to try and squeeze these fools for everything we can get, especially tech-wise. Um, Hanover. Nope, that's right. They don't have a college yet. Georgia does. 
They ain't got squat that we need. Denmark does. They're doing very much research. Just new box hard counter to AI. Yeah. I know. The, uh, oh, here's a farm too. I know. Trust me, I'm tempted to do it, but I, I'm, I'm trying to hold back the, trying to hold back my better judgment of doing that. All right, let's get this built as well. We are spending some money, but we don't really have any thing else and we are still getting a little bit of a surplus here with 64 and we should gain another 29 I think it is 27 so that'll put us in the ballpark of nine I'm reasonably sure that you get better return from your gentleman spying than studying there are so many good spy targets near you um, yeah, the only thing is though, I am getting some actual, um, good results from my, uh, uh, technology boosts from them. So it saved me a couple turns. All right. So we got a war, uh, United provinces against Westphalia, both of which are allies. Westphalia is allied with Wittenberg and Bavaria, which is a more important, um, more important ally for me even though great britain is uh, great britain is not as important of an ally to me as wittenberg and bavaria so we are going to side with westphalia even though that might be a short-lived alliance but we will see hopefully westphalia can live to see another day so we're going to lose our alliance with the united provinces we should still be allied with great britain though but i imagine that will come to end soon um yes it is a good idea but not in this one because we're we're not going to be able to do that until 1750 so that's the challenge I'm putting on, on myself. So we're going to go to 1750 and then we're going to look to um, get a colony. But but before we do that, especially as Austria, um, what we need to do before we, um, when we go to look to colonize the Americas, we're going to have to have taken Morocco and uh, um, also Gibraltar uh, at that point. Um, that would be quite important for us to make sure our trade, uh, lines are secure, uh, from there. So before we take the Americas, that is a necessity. Some of the bare necessities. All right. So four turns left on this Hofburg getting done, which that's great. We're still not at war with the Ottomans, which is just blasting shocking to me. But whatever. Prussia, I don't think, is at war with anyone yet. Nope. And they got themselves a nice little army built up. Which is not... No bueno. Uh, I'm almost thinking about... Well, after after military syllabus is done, we're going to go right to research and carabiners. That is super important for me. Especially playing as Austria. Once we get carabiners, that really... Uh, gives me a cab I can do something with. Um, do you think establish... Uh, okay, yeah, we already went over that. Um, okay, so... Um, actually, Russia took back Moscow. So that happened. And actually, look at Poland, Lithuania. They took uh, Bulgaria. They're, they're getting a little... Uh, a little aggressive here, man. Look at Poland, Lithuania. All right, I like that. All right, let's end the turn. We're going to make roughly about 2,800. Let's see what happens. Our spy making his way. <coughs> Give me... <coughs> excuse me. Got it verklimped. <coughs> Had to get a drink of sweet tea. Um, 
Yeah, the Prussians are really building up. They're about to be at war with us. I feel it. I'm not worried about the troop selection of the Ottomans here. They got a lot of low morale units in that army. Which should be easy to mass route. Should be. All right, Saxony is taking on Bavaria. See, this is one of the things I talked about. This is going to soften up Saxony for the Prussians. And that's going to be a concern for us because the Prussians are going to be here and here. So we're going to have to really look at building up our military. And our income is only at 3,000. So that's a problem. But we got our Hofburg is going to be built in three turns. And we'll be able to get some good artillery in another turn so better things on the road ahead i'm really looking forward to getting carabiners who had carabiners was it poland lithuania no nope. uh marathon oh moogle we haven't even tried to wheel and deal with them uh spinning jenny would be nice Actually, let's give them military tech. Try to keep them in the fight against the uh, Moogle. You know, oh, so uh, one of the campaigns I did, actually, um, the Moogle were around till like 1735. And uh, they ended up getting finally knocked out by Maratha. And Maratha actually... Um, I don't want to give Maratha too much. Maybe it was, it was Russia, maybe. Nope. Who the hell had carabiners? Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, we're a turn away from them anyway. Let's end the turn. Let's see what damage is going to be done here. I have fears. That something is going to happen this turn. They have massed up immensely. One good thing is I know Poland Lithuania is coming into this war with me. Now, how much so is a question because we know that the Poles have troops down in the uh, Balkans against the Ottomans. The Mughals are fun, late game. They uh, come alive and rival the Marathas. You know, actually, I think the Mughals have better units in some aspects than the, than the Marathas because they have the whirling dervishers and all that all right so we got um our military syllabus done which is nice let's go ahead and get that built and we'll be able to work on getting our fire by rank done here soon and then in two turns we'll be able to start recruiting carabiners as uh, that can happen as soon as we get that research done all right and that's going to be crucial for us absolutely crucial all right i hate to do this but we're going to have to recruit more line infantry and artillery as well that's the only thing that could possibly save us versus the prussians uh you know we got to build a fort too. Yeah, we got to do the cheesy stuff here, guys. All right, in turn. I should have done that already because now I got to wait four turns. Let's hope we can make it four turns. I mean, once I got a fortification done, I can hold out. But, you know, the problem is, is they can run rampant through my territory. There go the Saxons. All right, we got problems, folks. Houston, there is a problem. Prussia has declared war on us. 
All right, and yes, we will be calling in all of our allies. And look at these chumps. Britain, Savoy, Westphalia. You son of a bitch. I, dec I went to war for you, and you do this to me. But we do have some pretty nice allies here. Uh, Venice, maybe they will come up and get involved. Oh, my God. This is going to be quite the challenge. I'm not going to lie. I'm concerned about this one. All right, they got seven line infantry and quite a bit of artillery. This is not going to be easy here, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to be easy at all. We'll do this at, what, 1706? Yeah, that's what it was. All right. All right, let's get it done. Uh, I can't believe the pirates have their own cities. Yeah, they, uh, they've they kind of incorporated. It's kind of like in the Pirates of the Caribbean when they, uh, they build those uh, cities. Well, not really, but kind of, kind of, sort of. The best Mughal infantry is uh, marginally better than the Marathas. The best Mughal cav rivals the Marathans. Artillery is the same. Mughals get no uh, DLC love. Yeah, um... The Mughals got way more cav. I mean, I'm sorry. The, the Marathas got way more selection of cav than do the uh, Mughals. All right. So, where to set this fight up at? So, we got a, a little bit of a downward slope here. We're definitely not going to want to be on that because they have cav and we don't. Um. Now, they have, I think, all fixed artillery, so if we set back further, that should benefit us because I think they come, they should come off that artillery. So maybe we set up in this area, and we will have the town. Oh, it was a little bit of a problem, but I think this would be our most beneficial area. And that puts their artillery way out of range from us. So that means they should come out and play. All right. Okay. And the good thing is I do get to build some fortifications, which I am going to be doing. Uh, which we're going to make a bit of a show to freeze line here. All right, you. So bear with me as I set up for this, because this is going to take just a minute. All right, you. Um. Okay, damn it. These guys are in the way. Can't see a damn thing with them there. All right, that's. I, I want to squeeze every inch out of this that I possibly can. All right, that's right there on it. Um, you. So I want I want their calf funneled exactly where I know where it's going to be at. All right. That to me is the most important thing because their their calf can come in as a pretty huge disruption. All right, I think that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. Get our gin. All right. You ready? Let's see how this boils down. All right. So the problem with these citizens is if they start routing, they cause mass routes, especially since I got five of them. So I want them out of my flipping way. 
where they can cause me a rout. So, if I get Cav assaulted, that's fine. Pikes, actually I want, yeah, Pikes over here. You guys over here. You here. Militia over here. Line over here. Alright, now... In the case that Cav comes in the back, which they most likely will, we'll set these hobos up to guard against that. Militia, let's get you up a bit. They're slowly coming forward, if you're wondering. And I do mean slowly. Alright. So. You can reinforce that side. You can reinforce this side. I want them to attack from the right. So I'm trying to make myself as weak as possible there. See if we can get some hits on that cab. Now, I was correct. The artillery is dislodged from their guns, and they are moving forward, which is quite nice. And we don't hit one damn cab unit, of course. All right, let's speed this up. Um, hide citizens in the building and wait for a timeout. Yeah, well... I don't think actually the timeout is going to help me in this because of the type of uh, because we're not in a fort. I think we actually would not benefit from a timeout. I think we would lose. All right, so here comes calf shit too fast. All right, that should put that cav unit out to pasture. Got him down to 17 already. 11, he's shattered. Nice. All right, reform. And we got an artillery unit routed with 13 men, so he'll be back. All right. Now, Austrians are the slowest reloading unit in the game. Actually, you get your butt over here. Alright, hold fire. Let's get canister ready. See, I'm not spreading out too much yet because I want them to come closer to canister range. They're not really doing it too much, sadly enough. Right back. All right, got some good hits there. Not great, but okay. We got some hits off of him. As soon as he volleys, you're up. All right, rotate. Come on. I, this is how I got to cycle units in to make up for slow as hell reloads. Got to start working these guys down. Alright, we're getting a little overwhelmed here. Let's get the pikemen. I need these guys to start breaking. You guys are shooting what you're not supposed to be doing. 
Oh no. Get the hell out of there. Alright, this is kind of what I want. Let's fold. You fold back. Come on. Get out of there. If I had cab, this would be a lot easier. Uh, sadly, I don't. Let's let them envelop themselves. Come on. Fold. You hobos out of the way. You out of the way. General back. Okay, they are enveloping themselves. That's nice. Some of these guys are going to come back. Let's get the general to try to run them down. And we are going to make an encirclement. Did get you guys too far out of the way, which is not good. Actually, general, what the hell are you doing? Get back. Okay, they're going to continue to chase the artillery, and that's what we want. You bums can hold them and kind of distract them. Get them. We got one unit back. We're getting a little bit of... Damn it. Slide. Slide, boys. Use the walls. Fold. All right, get them. Here comes the cav. We got something for you. Square, damn it. Eat them up, general. All right. That's going pretty well. All right, they're laying chase to the bums. That's good. You guys fold this way. I need to buy time here. Buy time! General, why have you not broken him? Why have you not broken him, sir? Square up. Oh, he's a militia. Damn it. All right, eat him up. Where? All right, you guys keep going back. I need you to not die yet. All right, Cav's almost gone. General, please, sir, you haven't killed a man. All right, good. He's broken. This is about to break. Now we can start using our manpower here in a minute. Oh, our damn pikeman broke. Idiot. Well, he bought us some time. I can't kite too much more. All right, you guys, we're almost to the red line. General, where are you? Don't get killed, General. Don't get killed. All right. I think we're going to make it here. Get him. Good old Austrian charge here. That's a lot of men left in that unit. Holy guacamole. 
All right, we're getting trapped over here. We're about to be corner trapped. I need them focused on my trash units here. Break them. Gotta anticipate that breaking. All right, you run them fools down. Artillery, let's get back on the guns now. All right, good, he broke. Let's surround them. You guys. All right, 2v1, guys. Come on. You can do this. Get Use the walls a bit. We will try to use these citizens as much as possible. All right, you. Back in the fight. You. Ford. All right, they're breaking. Break them, sir. Focus your firepower on that damn unit. Let's surround them. God, Austrians are so slow at reloading. It's horrible. All right, we broke them. They're about to, anyway. Surrounding them is just... Too much for their little Prussian hearts to handle. Even my little citizens are flustering them. Citizen power, baby. Run them down. Oh no. Somebody's getting run down. Okay. Okay. Woo! That was uh, good. All right. Just like Hannibal. Yep, almost. Except Hannibal didn't lose as much as I did. <laughs> All right, we lost a pretty damn good amount. But we're victorious. That kind of matters. All right, that should do it. Let's end it. Close victory, yeah. Sums it up in a nutshell. All right. Yeah. We lost a heap. A whole mountain of men. And they got more reinforcements to come in, sadly. All right. Prussia's sending like two units to help. They're so nice. Uh, Poland has lost uh, already West Prussia. So they're not faring well. Ah, oh, sweet. The Venetians are coming to help. Hopefully us and not just Bavaria. <laughs> Hopefully they're coming to help us, not Bavaria is what I mean. All right. So we got another um, gentleman. Okay. One turn for carabiners. We need that like horribly bad. Austria and Great Britain, our alliance with them is done. So a lot has happened. A damn whole hell of a lot. All right, so we got three turns there. I invested in this fortifications here. Sadly, a little late. Um, yeah, they got they got a pretty damn good amount. They can come at me and take this. I I'm on honestly I'm debating taking that fortifications away because I could end up losing it, and I don't have like a gargantuan amount of men here um, I do need to get this line infantry here I'm not going to need them there and we're going to send these guys up to reinforce that situation and we're going to send a militia up because I can reinforce from here in Austria and then the poles should come in to help me if I get in trouble. All right, one turn for freaking carabiners. 
And then one turn to recruit. Need that. Terrible. All right, we're going to have to get some serious recruitment going here. Got to replace some depleted line like a mofo. So, um, yeah, that just happened. So we did at least succeed, but yeah, they have a king's ransom of armies left to come. So let's see if we can kill a general. That one is not going to be highly successful, but we're going to do it anyway. Nope. Just our luck. Um, we got a assassin here trying to probably kill our general. I'm sure of that. Um, send another militia here just in case. I think I've got enough to hold on here. Pretty for certain. Let's send a artillery unit here to support. And I think that will do it. I am actually thinking about combining these. Alright. So... 3,300 is what we're looking to get. Got four infantry coming. All right. If the Ottomans are going to do something, they're, they're going to do it this turn, I can promise you. So let's end the turn. See what goes down. So we got only, only 43 years to go, guys, before we can start actually going on the offense. So 43 years of defense. All right. We got a dual challenge. Let's go with, Oh, this guy's got two freaking stars on everything. Let's go with pistols they are a little more unreliable than swords. So maybe he'll, Lose that. All right. So it looks like we did win that duel. Yeah, Venice. Thank God for them. Let's see if they actually come up to help, though. They need to get on the move. That's for damn sure. Prussia didn't make a move on us. That's a good thing. Here comes Venice. There they go. You idiots. <laughs> Come on, Bavaria. Don't let me down here. Allies, what can you do with them? All right. A new agent has re been recruited. And I'm afraid this building is going to get demolished by the freaking Prussians. But as of yet, they haven't made a move on it. And our tech is actually going quite nicely right now. Um, I am going to allow the research on Grenadiers so we can get Grenadiers. Once I, I do get Grenadiers, I think we'll have a, a nice uh, ability to do some damage to the Prussians. All right, so we did win the duel. And we did get some nice tech done. One more turn for that. Six more for this. And two more for our fort to be done. We did get some of our line infantry. Let's go ahead and move them to reinforce. All right. Feeling a lot better about my situation here. Seeing as I got now five units over 100. Actually, six units over 100 over there. We're down to 23 a turn, but that's okay. I can I can make it with that. I can deals with that. Um, let's get some carabiners recruited, though. Actually, we're not going to recruit from there. It's too much of a danger. All right, let's do that. 
because the cab is quite vitally important for us uh, going up against the Prussians. If we had cab that last game, we would have done a, a hell of a lot better. Um, a hell of a lot better. All right, so since he won that duel, let's see if he can kill a general a little bit better. He's got 26%, which is better than seven. Excuse me, 17 the last time, but he still comes out on the crappy end of that one. All right, let's end the turn. Um, the Poles are actually hanging on to their territory that they gained from the Ottomans, which is nice. It's absolutely kept the Ottomans away from us, but we'll see if that continues or not. Yeah, Venice... What can we say about them? All right, so we got our next assault. They've got six line infantry now and a pikeman, which is not necessarily going to be easy. Uh, four cav, only one artillery. So we have the artillery advantage. Let's hope and pray with it, we get the uh, ability to strike fortifications. It's been two turns. I do believe we should get fortifications. Not the actual fort. What I'm talking about is the ability to, to lay the shows to freeze. However you say it. I'm probably going to get uh, butchered by somebody in comments in a couple days for saying pronouncing my French words wrong. As I always seem to do. <laughs> Alright. And we do not get fortifications. So that's kind of a letdown. Alright. So we got high ground here. And it slopes down. So, obviously, we got one fixed artillery. So, we've got to put it in a place where we can actually use it. And I don't like this slope on this side because that benefits our cab quite a bit. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up for a fight in this open ground here, at least with the artillery here and we can move this one over and this right here should provide us a, a barrier from cav in theory all right let's get the smaller line infantries to hold this side with these small little pikemen and actually We'll give them the militia as well. You guys back. You guys here. Alright. General, we can't forget you. Let's go. Alright, so artillery... set you up there okay so they can this part is not traversable from the front so that's good and I can use these natural uh, kind of heights here as a as a barrier, maybe, to block shots if I get in a bit of a trouble. All right, you guys move to this flank as well. You bums back here. General over here. Um, actually, going to need one line infantry between you behind and oops, you hold fire ok 
Okay, militia. There, right. Eat some cav, please. Okay, all these guys can square. Okay. All right, let's hopefully kill off this cab real quick. All right, just got five of them. All right, they're coming around the buildings. Got a nice shot on them there. Here they come. Oh, God darn it. Get up there. All right, good. One cab is down. Engaged. With another... Square up. Come on. I need all the cab gone. Another one down. This one should be down shortly. Okay. He's about to go bye bye. Rip them up. Damn it. They've come at the wrong time. Because this is taking my shots from the uh, line infantry here. Damn it. I got to put these idiots in melee, which is... And I just canistered my own guys. Come on, break them. Square up, baby. Break them. You guys, form up. Broke the cab. Good, broke one. <sighs> Need to run the fools down. I can't. Why are you still shooting? Idiot. Bring him in. Need this guy trapped. Like big time trapped. Alright. Almost got him done. Damn, I've lost... All the way down to 66 men on this unit. Holy guacamole, get back. Incoming! Let's get them in cancer range, please. Alright, he's broken. Okay, here comes the next wave. Let's break this fool. Need him broken before their wave gets in. Yeah, how you like that? Hey, like them apples. Give him the canister. Come in behind him. Damn it. All right, he's done. Run him down. Perfect. You. Don't want them escaping either. I want to run as many of these fools down. 
as I possibly can, which means you need to lay off the canister for a minute. Damn it, he broke too early. Militia, get on it. Got him down to one. That's good. He's done. Whew. All right. We're doing really well in this one. Idiot militia. You're going the wrong way. All right, bring him in. All right, so that line will come back. And they've got three more lines left. Uh, yeah, sometimes they do sell grease to natives. It's weird. Speaking of Venice, that is. All right. We haven't even needed our little citizens. <clears throat> <coughs> All right. Only killed three of them, four of them now. You got to be kidding me. All right. Let's bring them in. Bring them to Papa. All right, here comes the general. We got a pikeman still and three line infantry and then this militia. That should be it. I got to get him to maneuver to get surrounded. Which means you guys need to come over here. You guys can now spread. Where are you at? You can get back on your guns. You here. You guys. Like that. You guys over here. Well, they could hit the side of a barn. Jesus. All right, let's speed this up. This will take all night. Because they're dancing around like the funky chicken here. All right, let's give them some artillery fire so they decide to come back home. All right. So what we're going to do... See if we can maneuver this just right. Oops. Come on, you sorry sons of guns. I might have to go after him. Which is fine with me. Alright, let's do that. Let's go. You idiots that way. You guys over here. Because they're eventually going to push. All right, so they're coming after the weak units with the militia. Oh, no, they're coming for the line. Okay, good. This is perfect, actually. Because we can get rid of the militia right here. Because he's just encircled himself, and he doesn't even know it yet. This should give him morale drops right here. Hopefully before they get over here to reinforce. Get their general. Okay, 
Good line infantry is coming up. He's about to break. He's done. Go get him. You come over here just to hold. Canister, please. You guys spread the line. You guys this way. All right, this guy's going to get himself surrounded. Perfect. A little bit of jingling, jangling, but we can get it done, I believe. How you doing? You get, you're like idiots. You can't even run them down. All right, let the citizen do it. He's lighter afoot. You guys come around. Okay. So you guys set up here. You here. You here. Come back. Let them envelop themselves. Is the general doing okay? Pikeman is about to get surrounded. Nice. Just need the militia to hold out a little bit. Actually, he's doing really well. Okay, canister. How are we doing? Make him eat it. All right, get that general, please. Mm, come on. Let's avoid that fight a little bit longer. Alright, good. He's done. Run him down. We're about to get these guys done. Right, let's come in behind. The general sort himself out shortly, I would think. Ugh. Alright, we got him surrounded. Ladies and gentlemen, and they don't like it. And that's just too damn bad. Eat that. All right, canister shot, you can lay off. Let's go ahead and really. Drop the bomb on him. All right, run him down. Nice. Come out of this one a lot better. All right, General's bodyguard, your turn to die. Five of you, three of you, you're dead. You did. General can handle those. Kill their general. Let's see, don't you go behind the house? Get him. Come on, shoot that bum before he goes around the corner. Idiots. See what I'm dealing with? Shoot this son of a gun. You can't do nothing right. Alright, so sadly their general's going to get away. I'm not going to be able to catch him with these idiots. So, their general survives one more battle. We only lost 487 in that. That's very good. They have just lost a about two stacks of good infantry.
which is nice for me. Yes. Very good victory there. Okay. Our turn. All right. We got another tech done. Let's see what it is. It was, oh, we can start working on fireball rank with you. Which one would be better? That one. All right, so that one can work on fireball rank. You can work on that. Are you only three? Well, whatever. All right, let's get some grenadiers recruited. Once I get that, I'll be the mad bomber. Um... So we got one line infantry screwing about in our farmland, so we got to deal with him. Um, they've got still some pretty good infantry. They still got uh, five line infantry that are untouched, and then the rest of them are damaged. I don't know how many of these are still damaged, but Bavaria is taking damage from somebody. Who are they taking damage from? Maybe Prussia? Let's find out. Bavaria, where? Of course, they're in the bees, David. Maybe the Dutch. Huh. I don't know. But Bavaria has definitely lost some men. Maybe the Dutch. We don't know. All right. Um, where we stand... We need to get some more infantry. To replenish this mess that we just lost. Alright, one turn and our fort will be built. And then I'll feel much better. About a lot of things. Let's get these guys healed up. And... Actually... Um, okay, I, I got to deal with this guy. He's going to go right here to the college and, and, uh, bum fuck our learning. So I got to deal with him. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you guys. We're going to deal with him. Kill this fool off. And we're going to do it the dirty way. See if we can get out of this pretty, pretty clean. Because I, I can't keep taking losses on men. Okay, here we go. Find infantry. This guy can walk hidden, so we're going to put him there. You there, and you there. Let's do it. Let's go fast forward. Uh, he's way the hell over here. You walk hidden over here. You over there. And you over there. Now, let's see if I can take no losses. That would be wonderful. You stay right put. And you can get there. Where are you at? You walk your little butt hidden over here. Or actually, like... Let's get good line of shot here right about in there cab can come over here and this cab can come over to here all right I'm liking that <clears throat> all right so I have 90 range on these guys so they can shoot at them without getting shot back if terrain will let me I think I can get in there and get a clean shot
Yeah. And we should be in range. Well, are you going to shoot or what? Oh, shit. Move. Okay. We luckily got out of that with getting, without getting shot. Let's see if we can get a shot with the line. He did get a shot on us. Lost eight men, damn it. All right, eat that, bitch. And eat that. All right, line infantry. Are you going to open up on them? God, they're so slow. All right, so... Man, he is just crushing my line. Get out of there. How are you doing on reload? Slow as tits. All right. It's facing the line infantry. Good. You reload it? Yes. Get him. All right, that was okay. Let's give him a, the one twosies. He's not liking it, yet, ladies and gentlemen. He's not liking it. Down goes Prussia. Down goes Prussia. Damn, I lost some men on that charge. <laughs> All right, let's run him down. You stop shooting. What the hell's wrong with you? All right, there we go. We lost 35. Well, we'll take it. All right, you guys heal up. That, that's actually good. Let's put you guys in here and you guys get back. Damn it, what the hell? All right, well, whatever. Um. That's good. So now we won't have any more citizens pop up there. Which will fancy me really nicely. They're still making 28 a turn. We got some good units coming. Let's end the turn. We get the fort next turn to be built in Prague. You ain't getting squat. Shut up, France. Trying to get Croatia out of me. Must be out of their damn mind. The Dutch, too. They're losing their mind. Losing their minds. It's already 1708. So that means only 42 more turns and then we can go on the offense. 40 more, 42 more years, rather. So it'll be 84 turns before we can actually start going on the offense. Okay. Hopefully our defeat our our victories over the Prussians has helped the uh Poles a little bit to gain some time to rebuild their armies over here. And they got some really crappy ones, I must say, um, that they're putting to bear against the Prussians. Jesus Louises. Yeah, that's not going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got our grenadiers back. And they got a lot of line infantry coming in here. Um... I almost want... We're only making 17 a turn now. I almost want to go on the offense versus them. Damn it. 
Um, because if I lay siege to Cilicia, maybe the Poles will come up and uh, take it like the allies usually do. But then that leaves uh, Prague very undefensible. But now that we have forts, that makes it a little bit easier to defend with a smaller army. So that could be what we do. Dwarf snipers, yes, that those uh, little little uh, dudes with their crazy hats, yeah, the pandurs. They do kind of look like dwarfs, don't they? All right. So, question is, do we do that? Because I am pretty confident in my defensive capabilities to be able to hold in Prague. So I think that's what we will do. Uh, but, no. I could take these beat up. I know they're beat up, but how much so, I don't know. And Prussia has got two brand new lines here, two there, and a death head. Two, uh, another one, so they got three, four, five, six, seven, eight line infantry that they can bring to siege me here. So I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get aggressive here without taking a region, and maybe that will bring the poles in to take it. While we siege it, if that makes sense. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take you and all these depleted units. Let's get you over here. Take the general. It's not like he's... Okay, finally, well, actually, we got some good stats out of him now, which is good. Um, okay, so two line infantry, three line infantry, two militia. Um, we'll put two more line infantry in here, and we'll put the artillery. Okay, good. So I'm confident with that army can hold anything the Prussians bring there. And public order, how are we doing? Okay, is that zero? So that means we're probably going to be pretty bad in public order. But it is what it is. Alright, so. I need the grenadiers. You got to come with. You guys lay siege. Let's see what we're up against. Alright, so they do have quite a bit of these guys fixed up. Uh, five, six, seven, eight of them. Nine full line infantry. All right, I'm pretty confident we can deal with them. All right, let's get you guys over. And then we'll bring you guys over. Okay. Feeling good there, guys. Let's bring the cav. And I just hope they don't reinforce from here. That's the only thing I hope. Let's see what how many units we got. That's 11. So we can bring one more. I think I'll just leave it at that, though. All right. So I think this is a pretty good place to stop for the night because it's already getting late. And we can pick this up and I will actually do another live stream tomorrow if you guys are interested in continuing on with this. And uh, I think this will be pretty fun. Already we got 11,000 uh, um, in the bank. 11, yeah, 11,000 in the bank. We're only making 1280, so that's why it's important for us to really kind of keep the Prussians losing men. And hopefully the Poles can make something happen here. Because I, I don't know what the Poles are doing. I don't know how many men they got down here. I mean, I guess I could send this priest down here to see. 
um, cause that would help them. They do have, a kind of a lackluster army. So certainly they got more men somewhere in here. Uh, maybe what they're doing, cause this is damaged. Maybe they're attacking, um, Prussia there. Uh, Corland, I don't think is at war with Prussia, which is unusual. I don't understand that because they should have come into war with uh, Poland, Lithuania, because they're a protectorate of Poland, Lithuania. But it is what it is, um, and hopefully Bavaria and Venice start coming over, bringing some troops to help, since Venice has got all these men standing around uh, playing. Pokemon Go. So it is what it is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave the stream here and we'll pick up the next part of the stream tomorrow and see how far we can get. We're 1708. So we've only got 42 more years left to make it before we can then go on the offensive. And that's when it's going to be quite fun because we should have Grinzers by that point. Because our, actually our tech is going quite nicely. And before we go, actually, so I don't forget, let's see what we can get. Maybe we can trade for some more tech as well. Spinning Jenny would be super nice. They're not having it. Idiots. Um, the Ottomans... Still not at war with us. I don't want to give them too much. Because we'll be at war with them soon. The Poles. The Russians. I need that. Let's give them ring bayonet. Come on, dude. Don't you want Cossack Cav? Oh, come on. I know they want Cossack Cav. Come on. Okay, we got that. All right, so we got another farm tech done, so that's good. We can actually build up our next, uh, our next farm now, which is very nice. Very nice. Okay, take two turns for that, and that will be done. And that will help quite a bit. All right, so I'll see you guys later. I appreciate you guys joining the stream. We will see you tomorrow for the next part of this, and I will see you then. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Appreciate you. Glad you enjoyed it, Field Marshal. I appreciate you for coming.